Hey guys, welcome to the first ever Maritimo Virtual Boat Show. Right here from the heart of Maritimo in Australia. In this virtual boat show, you'll be able to experience everything you normally would from a traditional boat show right from the company of your own home. So make sure you're heading over to maritimo.com.au or following us on social for all the latest content we'll be putting on the virtual boat show. But right now, I want to show you an exclusive video of our Art Performance Edition and then we'll talk to Tom, who's our head designer of Maritimo. Uh, thanks Simon, yes, uh, very exciting times indeed for Maritimo um, and none more so than the uh, launch of the R Performance Edition. Um, I had the pleasure uh, recently of being out on the X50R um, for a run and uh, the boat is sensational. I mean, you just can't believe how well it performs. Um, it's, uh, it's like a stealth bomber, it's just magnificent. Um, today we've got um, someone with us who's uh, probably no one better place to talk about the uh, X-Series generally or the uh, R Performance Edition than Maritimo's uh, brand director and uh, lead designer. And uh, might I also add uh, the current UIM XCAT world champion. So he knows a bit about speed and he knows a bit about performance. So uh, Tom, uh, this is much more than just a badge change, isn't it? The R Performance Edition. What have you built into the package that you can now get in these X-Series boats? Yeah, absolutely, Paul. It's, um, it's certainly more than just a badge change. Um, the R Performance Edition um, really underlies what is um, us putting the maximum amount of uh, racing technology and, and power um, and entertainment aspects as well um, that go with a sport yacht um, into uh, our X-Series, basically to make it the, uh, the ultimate vessel so that goes uh, from, from the powertrain um, to, to the upgraded Scania 800 horsepower power, power units, um, uh, all the way through the, the drive line to the, uh, the sort of propeller setup uh, to a, a custom high performance tuned propeller specifically to each boat. Um, and then all of the entertainment aspects uh, as well that come uh, standard now in the uh, R edition um, certainly make it uh, for an exciting model. And Tom, I noticed when we were out in the boat, um, it just lifts onto the plane so effortlessly. There's no digging itself out of the hole. Is that all to do with the weight placement and the low centre of gravity that you've been able to achieve in the X-Series? Absolutely. So in all Maritimos, um, we've, we've staunchly been focused on maintaining um, a shaft drive line, straight shaft drive line. So in doing that, um, a low shaft angle is critical, but one thing we've found through our racing experience as well is um, what the benefits you gain from a neutrally balanced uh, hull. So our, our weight placement and uh, engineering sort of distribution throughout the boat um, allows us to um, place our engine room and all the machinery and all of the center of mass really more neutrally in the hull, which gives us a lower shaft angle and in the X-Series, which allows us to have an aft cabin. So that has a huge benefit for being a long range cruising boat um, in that you can um, cruise really at any speed because the boat is so neutrally balanced that uh, it climbs up onto the plane very easily and you can cruise on the plane 
at low speeds where you're using minimal fuel and, and maximizing your efficiency and your range. Yeah, and, and Tom, Maritimo is unique in the world in that we're probably the only production luxury yacht manufacturer with an internationally competitive race team. The learnings from the racing side of, of what you do obviously fed into this model, but does it go across the range? Does it feed into all of your boats? Absolutely. The Maritimo Racing and what it does for Maritimo, the brand and, and the boat company, um, is everything from a culture that, that runs through um, our, our entire workforce um, down to the latest technology um, that the race team is working on. So the Maritimo Racing has developed over the years everything from laminate schedules um, to um, propeller sort of testing regimes to um, power steering systems um, and then ultimately down to a culture that is fixated on always improving on everything we do. So we will never rest on our laurels in terms of just thinking that's enough and what we've got um, is fine and, and performing well enough. We are always looking to manufacture better, to have higher quality and for more performance. And, and Tom, with the, um, with the X-Series generally, it's probably been one of the uh, company's most popular models in recent times with the launch of the X-60. What do you attribute that to in the sport yacht sector? Um, the X-Series specifically, we, we pretty well went through our largest research and development um, sort of project uh, we've ever undertaken here at the company. So um, the, all of the market research we put in um, all of the conceptual um, development that we went through um, to get to the final stage and um, really paid dividends uh, in the end. So, and that was really you know, highlighting such a simple design solution really for, for what people in the market were looking for. Um, and that, that came about with um, ba basically what we are all about at Maritimo being direct shaft drive technology um, you know, with a, a really great long range cruising boat in a sport yacht that gave you um, a feature such as the aft cabin, which can be utilized in so many various ways that are so perfect in the sport yacht market. And it really did set that sector on its head, didn't it? I mean, it was bringing super yacht type thinking to um, you know, a mid-sized sport yacht. And when that aft cabin come beach club was first unveiled, I mean, people were just gobsmacked yeah, it, it truly is amazing that uh, the amount, the level of, of accommodation space that you can get uh, in that aft section of, of the boat. And, um, you know, certainly now in our X50 to have a beach club that has a bar and an ensuite um, with a sleeping capacity as well with a fold out double bed um, and a fold out queen bed in the X60, to have all of that in that size, that size boat and all of that space and this, the the um, versatility that it gives you um, is, is really unseen in, in the market. And that's why I think it, uh, it was such a success uh, in the eyes of the market and, um, and the media uh, and the attention that it got because of, of, um, of just you know, what we were able to achieve. Thanks very much, Tom, very informative. Um, for more information on uh, Maritimo's virtual boat show, please head to maritimo.com.au for the very latest.